and welcome to this episode of Round Robin. I'm your host, Robin McCormick for the City of Hampton, and today we're going to talk about your health, specifically preventing strokes. We have with us today two representatives from the Hampton Health Department, Norma Piovani, who's a nurse, and Megan DeWitt, who's a health educator. Thank you for coming by today. Hi, thanks. So the particular timing here has to do with Stroke Awareness Month, Correct. which is the month of May, but it's an important issue all year round. Yes. And you mentioned there was a specific national initiative tied to stroke. Can you tell us a little bit about that, Certainly. Megan? Certainly. Million Hearts is a national initiative to prevent one million heart attacks and strokes over a five-year period. And it's done through prevention, education, and outreach efforts. So um, as part of this initiative, the Virginia Department of Health has launched Million Hearts VA or Million Hearts Virginia, which is a statewide approach to preventing heart attack and strokes here in the Commonwealth. To kind of kick off the effort this month, State Health Commissioner Dr. Karen Rimley has challenged Virginia to take one million blood pressures during the month of May. Now why blood pressure? Let's just start there. Why, how does that tie in, blood pressure and stroke? Um, well, first of all, blood pressure is the number one controllable risk factor for stroke. Wow, so that's a big deal then, okay. Very big deal. So it's very, very important to get your blood pressure checked and just to know what it is in general. Um, and that's mainly because high blood pressure damages the heart, which leads to things like heart disease and stroke. So. Okay, now there's a lot of numbers on this blood pressure thing. And so even when I get mine checked, I don't always know what that means and what's good and, and what's not so good. So if you could explain that, that would be really helpful. Okay, the normal blood pressure should be below 120 over 80. The top number being your systolic, the bottom number being your diastolic. Now what does that mean? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the systolic, think of it simply as when the heart beats okay. and the diastolic is when the heart relaxes. All right. Okay. So we want it below 120 on top okay. and below uh, 80 on the bottom. Okay. Uh, high blood pressure is a, a consistent blood pressure of greater than 140 over 90. Okay. All right. That doesn't mean one blood pressure greater than 140 over 90 makes you uh, hypertensive. It would need to be taken several uh, times before um, you would be considered hypertensive. Okay. Mm -hmm. So how often should one get one's blood pressure checked? Well, starting at about age 20, you should have your blood pressure checked every one to two years, as long as you're a healthy adult with a normal blood pressure. So like, with your physical, your annual physical. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Right. What point do you need to start doing that a little more often? My age, older, I mean, what, what's the guidelines? If your blood pressure during your regular physicals is normal, Mm -hmm. then at your normal physical time. Okay. okay. If during your normal physical, say it's, it's getting a little higher, uh, the physician will most likely bring you back in a, uh, three to six months to have a check or tell you on your own during different times of the day at varying intervals to have a check just to see how it's progressing. Okay. okay. And so this will sound kind of lame, mm -hmm. but you know, I go to the Red Cross to get mine checked because when I give blood every <laughs> few months, they're going to do that for me. Right. And I keep it written down mm -hmm. on my little card. Great. But if you don't have that opportunity, if you can't give blood mm -hmm. or if it's not something you want to do, what, how can you get your blood pressure checked without necessarily scheduling an office mm -hmm. visit with your mm -hmm. practitioner? Well, you can keep your eye out for screenings that are being done here in the city of Hampton. Um, other options are go to your healthcare provider see if they'll check it for you. You can also check with your local pharmacist at a local grocery store or pharmacy. They do those special mm -hmm. screenings Absolutely. every now and then, a lot of times at the drugstores. Absolutely. Okay. And during the month of May, you can stop into the Hampton Health Department and we'll be more than happy to screen for blood pressure there. Oh, that's great. You be better tell people where you're located because I actually missed it on the first time I drove past. <laughs> we are located at 3130 Victoria Boulevard, or you can just call us at 727-1172. Okay, and that's right between Andrews School and the HRT station, sort of, right yes, there on exactly. Victoria. Okay. Yes, exactly. Okay, so the month of May, free screen, what are your hours? Um, we are open from 8 to 4.30, okay. um, but we typically advise people to give us a to call. call first, see how busy you are. Exactly. Okay. Now, what are some things that, suppose someone has high blood pressure um, or is beginning to see signs of an elevated blood pressure, what can you do to reduce that? 
to get your blood pressure back under control. Oh, there are so many lifestyle changes that people can make to Those help. Those are hard. Can you just they, give me a drug? <laughs> they are. <laughs> and if it's high, your doctor will prescribe medication to help get that lowered. But um, just things like maintaining a healthy weight, Losing just a few pounds will make a big difference. And in that's your important blood to start pressure. with a small goal. Talk Absolutely. about just a few pounds. Don't try yeah, to get right. to you know your ideal weight all at one time. Absolutely. And when we go through these, mm -hmm. we're not suggesting that you make all of these lifestyle changes at once. You know, adopt one, stick to it, and then incorporate others as you go. So maintaining a healthy weight, become more active. You know, and those go hand in hand Absolutely. often, but not necessarily, right? Absolutely. So. Um, you know, for most adults, it's recommended to exercise every day, at least most days of the week. So shoot for, you know, 30 minutes, five days a week or more if you're able, mm -hmm. especially if you're trying to lose weight. It's very important. And a lot of times you can incorporate that into what you do, you know, Absolutely. mowing the grass, mm -hmm. doing gardening, using the stairs at work. I yes. mean, little things that, mm -hmm. that help to add yeah, up. Especially now that it's nice outside, take your dog for an extra walk That's or go right. for a bike ride with your kids, mm -hmm. you know, just get out there and, and get moving. Okay. Um, you can limit your alcohol intake. If what, what would be a, a guideline there? Um, if if um, two drinks a day, say, um, no more than that, but it's uh, good to understand what we consider a drink, okay? Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh, okay. <laughs> when we talk about a drink, um, it's 12 ounces of beer, five ounces of wine, um, or um, an ounce and a half of liquor, okay? That's a drink. Okay. Okay. That's, I think, fairly standard, although something like a martini might be two drinks. <laughs> right, exactly, exactly, okay. but people don't always <clears throat> right. realize right, that. Right, because it's in one glass. Right. right. Okay, <laughs> all right. Exactly. Um, don't smoke. You know, we all know the risks associated with smoking, mm -hmm. but the connection between smoking and high blood pressure is just one more reason not mm -hmm. to smoke. You don't think people forget about that. You think of um, lung disease, mm -hmm. but I forget that it contributes also to heart disease. Right, absolutely. Okay. And if people are kind of ready to quit, but they just need a little extra support, mm -hmm. they can also contact the Virginia Department of Health's um, Quit Now Virginia Quit Line and there, there will be somebody that can help walk them through, give them advice, suggestions, and just mm -hmm. that little extra support. So if they want to contact them at 1-800-QUIT-NOW. That's great. And, yeah. and remember that it takes people a couple of times sometimes that people Absolutely. who try to quit don't always make it on the first mm -hmm. time. But you don't have to give up. You can right. try again. Easier said than done, but just try. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, limiting the amount of stress you're under. And <laughs> in our busy lives, I know oh, that's I difficult to do. on that. <laughs> But for everybody, you know, it's, it's different. For some people, maybe it's meditation or yoga. For others, it's just taking 15 minutes to themselves. But anything you can do to kind of help manage your stress throughout the day. Well, and the physical activity mm -hmm. helps there, too. Absolutely. You know, get Absolutely. up. I am notorious for eating at my desk and not taking a break and working long hours. But if I could at right. least manage to go up and down the stairs in between or clear mm -hmm. my head. There's somebody yep. in my office who gets out and walks every day at lunch. And that helps with mm -hmm. stress as right. well as providing some exercise. Yeah. And finally, one of the most important things you can do to prevent or control high blood pressure is just to eat a healthy diet. Limit your sodium intake, but eat a healthy diet. So incorporate more fruits and vegetables into that diet and mm -hmm. you know, put your salt shake away. So things like that will go a long way to help preventing and controlling high blood pressure. That's great, mm -hmm. okay. Are there any other tips um, on stroke not necessarily related to high blood pressure or is that really the main, the main thing to watch? That would be the, the main controllable um, risk factor. Otherwise, there are some inherited factors and other things that you can't necessarily exactly. control. Right. Exactly. I know my dad mm. has had two strokes now, and it, it does run in his family. It is a difficult, mm -hmm. difficult thing. Absolutely. Yep. Okay. Well, I appreciate you guys coming by today. This is great because I think all of us need to understand our health yeah. better and you can get overwhelmed sometimes with Absolutely. all of the different possibilities. Yeah. So breaking it down into one or two steps mm -hmm. here. Definitely. So to recap, what we want people to do <laughs> to prevent strokes is know your blood pressure and yes, get it right. checked. Yes. Um, exercise. Mm -hmm. Eat a little better. Yes. Don't smoke. All right. Moderate drinking if you drink. Mm -hmm. Right. And is there anything I've missed? Just, you know, manage your stress as manage best you can. Manage your stress. That's a hard one. See, yeah. I blacked out on that one because that is the, <laughs> that's the hardest, the hardest one for me personally. But right. thank you. Thank you very much, Megan. Thanks and again thank for you, having Norma, us. for coming Thanks by. For
And thank you for watching this episode of Round Robin. I hope you'll come back.